He hated the smell of beer and loved the smell of the hot on tree. The spice of Ireland, Ireland's hot on tree, and this grand tree was there. Right at the top of the little street, it stood for everyone in the street to see it. The people of the street were always watching it, except in winter, when it was bare and bony, cold and crooked. But the minute it budded, they took their eyes to it and called it lovely. The hot on trees just beginning to bud, someone would say, just beginning, and the news would go from one end of the street to the other. The hottest burden at last. Did you hear? No. What? Why the hottest streets busting with birds? I seen Mrs. Middleton a minute ago, and she says, the hottest trees take with half opening leaves. So it is. And the first flower would send them into the center of a new hope. For the practice were dark. The frost was all over, and the summer was coming at last. And no cloud of foreboding came till autumn's dusky hand hung scarlet berries on the drowsy tree. And all the people, with their voices mingling, murmured the long dreary nights, the reckless rain, the chilly sleet, the cold winds, and all the hatred in winter is coming again. Johnny turned his thoughts away from the thought of winter and gazed again at the purely blossom autumn tree. Here, yeah. some day, in the quietness of a summer evening, in a cycle of peace, it will be good to sit here with curly-headed Jenny Clitoral. Nothing between them save the sweet scent from the blossoms above. It would be good, good, better, best, positive, comparative, superlative, and God will see that it was good and will no longer repent that he has made man in his own image. If he wanted, now he could easily climb up and break off a branch to bring the scent of the heart and tree right into his own home. But all the people ran said it was unlucky to bring Horton into a house, all except his mother, who said, that there was no difference between one three and another, but all the same, Johnny felt that his mother wouldn't like to see him landing in with a spray in his hand. It was all nonsense, she do say, and only a lively superstition, but you never can tell, and people catching sight of Horton in a house felt uneasy, and were glad to get away out of it. So it was better to humor them and leave the lovely branches where they were. Leave it there, leave it fair, and leave it lonely. Sacred to the good people, Kelly said, but it was only up a few years from the bug. They, the fairies, danced round it at night. He said, gay and old and careless, they dance around it, the live long night. And no matter how far away they were, they heard it mourn whenever a branch was broken. From under the shade of the hut and tree, Johnny looked down the little street and saw a stair in it. Down at the far end, he saw what looked like little hills, one after the other, on each side of the narrow way. Women, opening doors and standing on the threshold. We are gazing about near where the little hills lay. I lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Suddenly, he heard the call of Johnny Cassidy. Johnny Cassidy. He turned his gaze to the right and a little way down the street, saw Eckert with hands cupped over his mouth to make his voice travel farther. Calling, Johnny Cassidy, your mother wants you.